business courses, case studies are vital to what we're trying to do with the students. It takes real world situations, real world companies, and allows students to analyze them with the theories that we've discussed in class. And so to become a good problem solver, you have to analyze problems, you have to uh, set up good strategies for solving problems, and so part of that um, in the classroom and it, it's, it's what uh, I try to do. One of the things that we do in English, especially in our first composition course, is we teach students how to evaluate uh, and then to an analyze the text. So for example, if my students were reading this book, uh, this book is about uh, the combat platoon's experience in Afghanistan, and so students would actually analyze that. They would explain what the author is saying, and then they could comment on it uh, by analyzing it, you know, getting beneath the surface. That's really what they're doing. And more important than all of those, we have to get to the third step of synthesis. And that's where students take information and they take things from a variety of places and put them together with a new idea. Maybe it's just a real research paper or maybe in the end it'll be somebody who discovers a new idea. In the theater, we teach students how to analyze a script, how to break it down into its component parts, how to see how each line forms each scene and how each scene uh, contributes to the arc of the story as a whole. really moves to uh, equipping uh, oneself to, to, to becoming a good, uh, productive, and informed citizen, to, to coming to understand oneself through that process of synthesis, right? You know, evaluation, analysis, and synthesis, this, this new creation, that research paper, or that new person. Once you've gone through that process of evaluation, analysis, and you have created this new thing, you yourself are a new creation. You have become something different. What higher education means to me is opportunity. It, it provides you a lifetime of knowledge, and, uh, but it also allows me to, when I go as a professor, when I go into the classroom, how to take what I've learned and make, those, make my students uh, more knowledgeable. I think higher education is a magic carpet or a magic door Unfortunately, the magic is not just walking across the stage or getting that diploma or that certificate, but magic actually comes from the students and what they do in the process of getting. Many years ago as a student here at Gulf Coast Community College, I had the great fortune to take Ms. Buttermore's public speaking class. To this day, I remember the final uh, speech I had to give. The topic was, knowledge is the torch which destroys fear in the hearts of man. And I think a lot about that. I think we are um, apprehensive and uh, afraid of things that we don't know. How many students come and sit in my class for the very first time looking whether they be intimidated or whether they be uh, frightened, a first college class. Um, as we teach them, the fear subsides. As you learn about something, the fear subsides or the apprehension subsides. Higher education, to me, is being able to really grasp that idea of critical thinking and, and just go from there. You know, the value then of higher education, making us better informed, more productive citizens. It enables us to build up leadership um, abilities. It enables us to respond to crises. Um, big and small, on the family level, the community level, and the national level. Um, and it all begins in the classroom, engaged in this process of critical academic literacy. For me, higher education was about uh, increased opportunity. It was about giving myself the opportunity to have more choices. I'm a first-generation college student. I'm the only person in my family uh, to uh, go to graduate school and I find myself now in the position to offer those same opportunities uh, to my students and it's something I'm really really passionate about. Oh, I'm sorry, I gotta take that. Hello? Hey, Stevie, how are you man? Uh, Steven Spielberg, I gotta, I gotta go. Opportunity. 
Hey, Stevie, how you doing? Yeah, we can get together. Lunch? Uh huh. Okay, Tuesday? Eh, I don't know. If we can't get DiCaprio on this one, I, I don't think it's really going to work for me.